Hi guys, Diane and Randy here from Zephyr's Travels. And today we're at Lockport, New York for the uh, Finger Lakes Airstream uh, Club rally. And Colton RV brought a number of trailers here for the people from attending the rally to take a look through and walk through. And so we're going to do that now and we're going to see if we can get Dave from uh, Colton to show us some of the highlights of them. So enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. This is a 2018 Tommy Bahama Special Edition Airstream. Every few years, Airstream does a special edition with a designer. This year was Tommy Bahama. They give over the interior to the design group, and there are actually 75 individually uh, individual items that are part of the rebranding for the trailer. Everything from the graphics on the front window, the custom laser cut pet screen protectors, the camping chairs embroidered with the Tommy Relax logo. There's a uh, steel Coleman cooler. And then the interior package, all custom colors, custom cabinetry, custom finishes. So everything you're seeing finish-wise, all the surfaces are different from what's in a traditional Airstream. We've got custom color Corian countertops, custom etched cabinet doors, leather handle pulls our fabrics and pillows and bed sheets everything is made by the Tommy Bahama design group all specific to this trailer even upgrade our stereo system to a nice polk audio system four speakers with a subwoofer it's a party trailer it rocks <laughs> and we have a bar built right into this trailer and it comes with everything you see in there beyond the rocks glasses the stemless wine glasses the Scotch Rocks liquor cabinet. There's a wine cabinet right next to over here. And how often do you see this in a trailer like this? This is a portable ice maker. Nice. <laughs> that is something. It's built on what would be the equivalent of an international series trailer. So we have quiet stream air conditioning ducted through the ceiling. You don't hear the noise. We have a power awning system from ZipD. Also in custom colors custom umbrella fabric with the Tommy Bahama logo embroidered on it. The awning kit wraps all the way around, so I have a side awning kit, rear awning kit as well. Power stabilizers, only available on three models in the Airstream line. The Tommy series, the Globetrotter, and the Classic. So no more cranking the stabilizers down. So on this 19 foot floor plan, in order to give you more floor space, this is a uh, double fold bathroom door. When it's folded this way is when the bathroom's in use. And then when I'm not using the bathroom, I can fold it in the other direction to get more floor space next to the bed. But even in the bathroom, we have a custom print wall board, again in the Tommy Bahama theme. Oh wow, that's nice. That jazz things up. Yeah. And that's a nice large shower too. Comes with a set of sheets, comforter, pillows, two sets of towels. Um, comes with Tommy Bahama scented hand soap and a $90 candle. <laughs> Which makes me chuckle. Yep. All right, what we have here is a 2019 Flying Cloud 23 CB. Flying Cloud is probably the most popular line in the Airstream lineup. There's eight different series. Flying Cloud is right in the middle, so it's the average Airstream. It's most typical interior, most typical set of features. Um, we have a manual pull-down awning from Zipti. Awning's been around since, oh, I would say the 60s, and Airstream's philosophy is if it's not broken, don't fix it. It gives this that vintage appeal you can do some special orders with Flying Cloud Series. We do order the awning kits, the solar panel, 
and this one has a convection microwave, so an updated model. But this interior package, common on all the flying clouds, the color of the cabin tree, and you get your choice of cushion colors. This is wild honey, and then there's truffle brown and oyster white for your cushions. But a 23 foot is where we start with a double axle trailer. Right. Anything below this is a single axle, or what we refer to as a Bambi trailer. The double axles are more stable on the road. They don't sway. They are the most flat towing trailer that you can get behind you. They're extremely lightweight for their size, and you'll, you won't even notice it's there. If you've towed anything before, or if you're new to camping, Airstream is the way to go. It makes it the easiest to tow out with most vehicles. So common features on Airstream trailers, we have rock guards on the front to protect the aluminum. These are made out of stainless steel. I have acrylic solar guards on the windows to protect the glass on the leading edge here. I have a stainless steel propane cover. I have two 30 pound propane tanks and two batteries, standard features. Power tongue jack, standard feature. Our folding steps here are unique in the industry. These are all aluminum, and when they fold up, they're completely flush to the body, so they're not sticking out and creating turbulence. Let's demonstrate here. Now, all Airstream trailers are completely insulated underbellies. So the bottom of this trailer is made out of aluminum. Almost every other trailer on the market, the bottom of the trailer is either open or covered with corrugated plastic. This gives us a completely enclosed shape, increasing the aerodynamics. It's practically rodent proof. You're not gonna get critters inside your trailer. And it gives us the ability to heat the basement area where the water tanks and the water lines are. There's a furnace duct that goes down there. So I can take this trailer earlier and later in the season than most other campers. Turn the furnace on, we heat this up, keep the water lines from freezing. Yep. Our quality of construction is second to none. This door, unlike anything else that's on a trailer, it's made in the Airstream factory. It has eight aluminum welds on the door, 16 on the screen door. It takes one guy eight hours to build just the door. Most other camper companies, they can build a whole trailer in eight hours. It takes anywhere from 300 to 350 man hours to build an Airstream trailer. The average for most other manufacturers is 40 to 60 man hours. Because nobody builds to the quality like this or hand builds trailers to this level. Every rivet you see in this trailer is hand riveted. It takes a team of two guys to do all the exterior rivets and every one of them is bucked. So that means they take the rivet and a bucking bar and they smash the metal together. These are not pop rivets. These are the strongest type of rivets. They use these to build bridges. So the 23 foot flying cloud floor plan is called CB for corner bed. I have a full size bed. I have a bathroom. We have a five cubic foot refrigerator, which operates on propane or electric. This model we optioned in an optional convection microwave oven. Comes with a 20 inch Samsung television. There's a digital TV antenna on the roof so I can watch TV wherever I am at. You can also stream to the TV from your phone. Over on this side, we have our pantry and our wardrobe cabinets. So I have cabinet and cabinet and a pull-out pantry for the kitchen. And every Airstream trailer comes with this wooden silverware tray. It's a tradition. They'll always have this wooden silverware tray. <laughs> and it's nice, it is very nice. And in our kitchen area, we've got a stove with an oven, three burner gas propane cook surface, large, deep stainless steel sink with a cover. Behind us, we have our dinette and lounge area. On the 23 foot, I have a sofa as well as the dinette. Both of these convert into sleeping areas. This trailer can sleep up to six people. 
On the sofa first version, I have an extension and I just rearranged my cushions to make a bed here. And on the dinette, I drop the table down and move the cushions to make a bed here. So I can sleep up to six people in this trailer. Our flooring is a vinyl floor, sheet vinyl, no seams. Um, our subfloor is continuous. There is no seams in the subfloor. We do not use tongue and groove plywood. This is a specially engineered flooring product that Airstream has made specifically for these trailers. It's called water and boil proof, proof flooring. It is specially treated with resin so it does not absorb moisture. When it's built, they also take the extra step, put an anti-wicking compound around the edge so that we don't get any water infiltration from the edges around the doors and windows. One of the most unique features to an Airstream trailer and one that you don't see is the green construction techniques that are used to build this trailer. Airstream trailers are rated emerald on the green building scale and that is the highest rating that you can achieve for building practices and materials use. There is no particle board used in any Airstream trailer. Everything underneath the laminate is all plywood. It's a seven layer Italian poplar plywood and you can see the edges on some of the doors. Particle board is made out of sawdust and glue and those glues contain toxic chemicals like formaldehyde and they leach into the air and that's what really makes the new car smell when you walk into a new car or you walk into a new trailer and you smell that lumberyard smell right. it's actually bad for you so airstream takes care to use green rated products our insulation is a recycled plastic material it's um, they don't use fiberglass because fiberglass can shed and you get little bits of fiberglass in the air and they also use petroleum based binders in, in fiberglass so our eco bat insulation covers the entire interior our walls are an inch and a half thick so we have this much space between our ribs and the inner and outer shell for insulation. Our roof is 100% aluminum. It's painted white to reflect heat. On almost all Airstream trailers, we're gonna have some form of extra window. So I have skylights. We use, on this 23 foot, two fantastic fans, as well as the iconic Airstream windows, which have the portholes and the tilt-out windows. So these windows open 70 degrees. They're the biggest windows that open that wide. Most other manufacturers with large windows have the sliders where actually only half the window opens or they have the tiny awning style window at the bottom. These windows open about 70 degrees. You get more fresh airflow through an Airstream trailer than anything else you can buy. Yeah, so Airstream yeah. has a station in the factory where they take the aluminum extrusion and they bend it to the window shape and they do the construction. These are iconic Airstream windows. No one else can use this technology. They open easily, lock into place. And the awning style window is great because if it's raining or drizzly outside, you can still have the windows open. But as I said, you have 70 degree opening there. Awesome airflow. Yep. The transom windows are the skylights here. Also unique Airstream feature. There are no slides in an Airstream trailer. So in order to not make this feel cramped, we have as much light as possible. So the very open and airy feeling. All of our trailers have shades. So if I need to close this down for the evening or for privacy, I've got ocean air roller shades. I've got United Shade pull-up lines for the skylights. And since we're up here at the ceiling, I want you to notice the interior of an Airstream is all aluminum. We don't use any wall boards. We don't use any wood in the walls. These trailers are designed to last 20, 30, 40 years. Overall, still the best quality trailer that's on the market. This company has been in business since 1931, continuously. There's no other Airstream, no other company in the world building trailers that has been in business that long. And they take everything they've learned over that time period and keep improving the product year after year after year. The more modern features of the Airstream trailer now, we're using all dimmable LED lights. We have solar power 
that is charging my batteries. The fantastic fans have rain sensors on their lids so that if it starts to rain when I'm away from the trailer, they'll automatically close. If you take a look up here, you'll notice I don't have an air conditioning unit stuck in the ceiling. That's very old school. That's the equivalent of having a window air conditioner in your bedroom. This is called Quiet Stream AC. It's completely exterior mounted. These are the intakes and these are the exhausts. And these are directional so I can get airflow from the air conditioner into the bedroom, into the lounge, evenly distributed. It's just not dropping into the middle of the room. And this would be as quiet as central air in most people's houses. It's one of the best improvements they came up with, uh, I believe it was 2015 when that started. So now all Airstream trailers above the entry level have quiet stream AC. All right, so this is the Airstream Globetrotter, 27 foot. Airstream Globetrotters are new as of 2018. It's a new entry into the family of Airstream trailers. They've taken what was the International Series and upgraded it. So we've added state power stabilizer jacks. I have a standard power awning. I have standard double air conditioners. So I have the ability to zone the AC separately for the bedroom and the living area. As we walk inside, Airstream has chosen a new flooring material for this trailer. This is a woven vinyl floor and I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, a company called the Cresley Yacht Company invented this and they use it in high-end yachts and boats. It's also used in many locker rooms because it's extremely durable flooring. It's 100% waterproof and is essentially self-healing. Those threads on the top will close up if there are any small punctures so you don't have to worry about dropping things on the floor. And uh, I like vacuuming is all it takes to keep it clean. So this interior is designed in Britain by a design firm that Airstream chose to give us a more contemporary European flair to their trailers. It's very different from what you traditionally see in the Airstreams, particularly the overhead bins. We're using a curved plywood door with interior lighting and we have accent lighting available at the coves on the tops of all of these cabinets. So I have indirect lighting as well as my standard overhead LED lights. As an upgraded model, I've changed my dinette table from the fold down table that's hinged to the wall to a pneumatic piston. So I just release the clamps and push it down and then when I'm done it pops back up. Oh. So I turn that into a bed. I have the same kind of pull out extension for extra sleeping on the sofa area. So again we have a six person trailer here. The flooring, the coloration, all unique to Globetrotter. The dark Columbia walnut cabinets with the oyster interior. I have a larger kitchen than traditional in the Airstream. I have a larger sink. It's a large rectangular stainless Moen sink with a residential pull-down faucet from Frank. We also have a couple of embedded storage bins in the back of this countertop. Normally this would just be wasted space back here. So they took this and put in a couple of utility bins, which I can use for anything I want. I can throw in the peelings for the vegetables I'm making for tonight's dinner, or I can keep all my cooking utensils in them, however you want to use them. Countertops are all Corian countertops. So we've upgraded our surfaces upgraded our cabinets, upgraded our lighting, upgraded our flooring. This floor plan is the 27 front bedroom. That gives me a large wardrobe closet, double door, a split bathroom, the shower on one side and the water closet on the other. <laughs> I have a privacy curtain that divides the front of the house from the back of the house. In our bedroom, the queen walk-around bed with the wraparound 
windows. So I have wraparound windows on the front and back of this particular floor plan. This has the most windows of any of the Airstream trailers. This window, again, opens fully like a traditional Airstream window, as do both side windows. So back here, I have great airflow. I have the double air conditioner. So I have separate temperature control in the bedroom and separate from the front of the house. Again, my cabinetry has the curved plywood door with the heavy duty pneumatic hinges. There's even a little mirror so you can see what's in there. Yeah, that's kind of yeah. a unique feature as not everyone is a basketball player and you can't see the bottom of these cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> and the cove lighting up on the top there. Everything you see in here in terms of upholstery is made in the Airstream factory. The custom curtains are made in the Airstream factory as well as the bedding. Mm. So not very many companies take that extra step to do custom work like this, rather than trying to find something off the shelf to fit these windows. So if you ever needed to have these replaced, you can buy them directly from Airstream. Mm -hmm. Our bed has a lot of storage under the bed. Under the bed. So we have a storage door, an open storage area here, and I have a couple of storage totes available. Now these totes are from Sterilite and they come with the trailer. They're supplied by Airstream. In the back area is our outdoor accessible storage area. Some place to keep your water hoses, your power cord, and your tools. And this is on a couple of pneumatic risers and opens and closes very easily. Very nice. So what do you think? You want one? <laughs> it is very nice. <laughs> Yeah, I like the closet. Yeah, the closet is the nice. closet's nice size. Now they also went with a new design for the refrigerator from Dometic, and it's a more streamlined contemporary style refrigerator. It matches the more streamlined contemporary cooktop. So oh, yeah. smooth glass cooktop here. It's just a cover. This covers a sealed burner, three burner stovetop which is mounted over a convection microwave oven. So I have a regular oven available as well as a microwave in the one area. And then I have my pull-out pantry cabinet. Plenty of storage space for everything that you might need. And here's our silverware tray. <laughs> yeah. And if you take a look, this particular design so my trap for my sink is underneath this drawer so rather than just losing that space they actually give me a special cutout so I can have as much usable storage space as possible and these drawers are solid wood this is not even the plywood that we're using in most of the construction we use solid wood on these all the cabinet drawers here and they are full extension drawer glides so they come out fully and this also has the upgraded uh, Polk audio system, four speakers, and a subwoofer. Control unit here. Yep. Um, we have on all of our trailers, flying cloud and above, 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverters. So I can take battery power and convert it to direct 110 volt AC current. This allows you to work more sophisticated electronics off the electrical system. If I'm out camping, and I want to use my laptop. I don't want to plug it in to the electric at the campsite because that may be very iffy uh, in terms of how clean that power can be. It's kind of like the water pressure in a campsite. One end can be very high pressure, one end can be very low pressure. So the pure sine wave inverter makes sure that I'm getting pure power to run electronics. I can run the TV, I can run my laptop, I can make sure my phone chargers are operating properly. In fact, this little area up here is a charging station. So USB ports right there, and I can plug my electronics in, set them up there while they're charging. So my name is David Testa. I work for Colton RV. We are the regional Airstream dealership in Western New York, Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, and Southern Ontario. 
we have one of the largest inventories on the ground at my dealership in Orchard Park, New York. If you would like to contact me with questions, you can reach me at 716-400-1922. Perfect. Thank you, Dave. Oh, you're welcome.